guys, today I'm making washable cotton makeup wipes, you know, for taking your makeup off your eyes. So sort of like eye makeup remover pads. And this is what me and my daughter normally use and they're like little cotton pads. And we're trying to cut back on our plastic usage and it also saves money because you can just pop these in the washing machine and reuse them. And they last for obviously ages and ages. So what I'll show you today is how to make these and how to make a little bag for them to go in. So you're kind of, that is your replacement for the, for the disposables. Okay, so what I've, what I've bought for these is I've bought one of these, it's a two pack wash bag. It's only a pound from sort of like your home bargains and um, pound stretcher type shops. And I'll show you how to sew that into a tube. Then there is your tea towels. Now I bought these ones, Seth. They, if you can see the material, it's a very soft, fine micro fiber. Then it also has some in there that are a bit fluffier that you can use for the backs. And there you go. So the first one I've already cut, I already cut up into circles. You get 24 of these pads out of a tea towel. So out of two, you'd get 24 wipes. And so there we go, you get around 50 wipes out of a pack. Obviously there's another 24 here because I had five tea towels. And with the other tea towel, I used some fleece, which I got off Amazon and it was really cheap per meter. So some have got fleece and some are microfiber and microfiber cloths. So the tea towels being £3.49 makes an absolute ton of these wipes. Um, so really cheap actually, really cheap product to make. So I'll just open these up and show you. They're quite a good size. And then I'll show you the measurements. So I just draw on the back. I'll show you the size I'm using. It is three and a half inches circular. And what I use to cut these out for my template is, is a mug and that measures the same as my circle. So literally all you need to do Take your tea towel and your mug and draw around. You can make a paper template if you'd like. And you should get around 24 on your tea towel, obviously depending on the size of your tea towel and perhaps where you've purchased it from. But I was really pleased with these tea towels and they're, they're really nice and soft because they're like a microfiber tea towel. So carry on doing that all over your tea towels and then all over your backing tea towel or your fleece, whichever you've decided to use. So I'm going to draw all these circles, cut them all out and then come back to you. Okay, so I've drawn all my circles on my tea towel. I've drawn it on the um, back side and I'm just going to cut around on the inside of the marked lines. So I'm going to cut all of these out and then I'll have a massive pile to show you. Okay, so I've cut all these out and we're just going to sandwich them together. Pop one on top of the other and then we're going to stitch a straight line all the way around the outside and then a zigzag stitch all the way around the outside like this one here if you can see it's got a single line all the way around the outside and then a zigzag and it just holds all the edges together nice and cleanly so when you do the zigzag just make sure the the needle stitch just comes off the end of your fabric and that sort of holds it all together see from this side it's just come off the edge and held all of the edge together it will fray a little bit but don't worry about these these ones have already been through the washer and the dryer and they hold together really well it gives it a nice 
flat edge so when you're using it it feels nice and flat in your hand there you go it's very comfortable to use and then remember when you do your zigzags and your plain line just to go back and forth at the end well back around to the beginning and go back and forth okay so i'm going to go and sew sandwich all these together and sew round them so I've just finished sewing all of those, as you can see. I'll show you closer so you can see the stitching. It's just a single stitch all the way around the outside and then your zigzag stitch round over that. So there you go, those are all of those done. Now to make the bag. So open your pack and you'll get your little bag like this. Just unzip it, turn it round the other way like inside out and then just see how wide it is on the one side towards the zip which is exactly three inches so I'm going to go three inches this way three inches so I'm going to do three and a half on this side and just mark that And then three and a half on this side. There we go. Now I'm just going to cut along that line. Pin it into place. And now I'm going to stitch with half an inch seam allowance along once and then back again. And then just go back and forth on the end. Okay, I've sewn up and down there twice. I went back and forth on the ends. We'll turn this around, poke your little corners out. And then with your wipes, you can put different colored ones in. I think I'll do half of those ones and half of the others. I might just put them in stripes going back like that. So you can actually get quite a few in this bag. And remember, you do have another bag because you had two bags, two of these bags. And you can always make another one as well. So there we go. There's all of your eye makeup remover wipes tidily in their little bag. You can put that on your dressing table. It's easy to keep like that. And of course, you're saving the planet one eye wipe at a time. So this is the way to go with your um, non-disposables. They're easy to wash. They go straight in the dryer afterwards. I wash mine on just a 40 mixed wash or a 40 cottons wash. Um, so there you go. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial and you'll give these little eye makeup remover wipes a go. If you like my tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIYs. Thanks for watching.